There are studies showing the connection between the pollution in the air that you breathe and the health of your kidneys. And now all across the world, there are more and more studies showing that people suffering from kidney diseases are exposed to a lot of pollution. And right now, with the amount of smog and the amount of pollution in Delhi, it's extremely important that we look at ways to maintain the health of our kidneys. Now, how do you maintain the health of your kidneys? One is by detoxification. You see these two little kidney-shaped, bean-shaped organs in your body. They work like filters every second of the day while you're eating, while you're sleeping, while you're doing your work. They are constantly working, filtering out waste from the food that we eat, the water that we drink, and the air that we breathe. But you see, your digestive system gets a break when we sleep and when we're not eating. But our kidneys never really get a break, nor do our livers, because we're breathing even while we sleep. So if we're breathing polluted air and air full of toxins and carcinogens, our kidneys are overburdened with the duty of having to you know, clean out all of these toxins from the body. So be it your lungs, be it your liver, be it your kidney, we need to make sure that our kidneys are working and are working the right way all of the time. So how important is it for us to help our kidneys detoxify? You see, when we have the right diet and we have the right quality and quantity of food going into our system, there is really no need for detoxification at all. The human body has this intelligent system built in itself to detoxify you normally. There are five elim eliminatory organs in the human body, your lungs, your skin, your kidney, your liver, and your colon. If these five exits are unblocked and are always open to flush out toxins, we don't need detoxification. But today, with the kind of world that we live in, the pollution, the kind of food that we eat, the contamination in water, everything, we have to help our bodies to detoxify, which is why we constantly need to put ourselves through these detoxification programs, which are inexpensive, and you can do it from the comfort of your own home to help your body clean out these toxins. You see, we start having problems in the kidney like infections, kidney stones, tumors, cysts. That's your kidney trying to tell you that something's not working the right way. My filters are unable to filter out the toxins. I need help to detoxify. So when we get these signs like kidney stones, we usually just make small lifestyle changes or we go through surgeries to remove these stones, but we never really change our lifestyle and get to the root cause of why we had kidney stones in the first place. So most of you would have done the lung detox already, but it's extremely important that we now detoxify our kidneys. So today on this video, I'm going to talk about a few easy things that you can do at home, followed by posting a simple kidney detox plan that each and every one of you can do from the comfort of your own home. So number one, your water intake. Your water intake is so important for you to detoxify your kidney. If I say that your kidney is like a filter, the medium is water. A filter cannot work without water. So if you have the right amount of water and the right quality and quantity of water going through your kidney, it supports this filter organ of yours to flush out excess toxins that we're breathing into our body all the time. Now, so many people today are low on water, and we've done videos on the importance of water intake and how even a 1% drop in your water intake can basically affect thousands of functions in the human body. So number one, your urine output. It's always good to look at the color of your urine. If it's a pale yellow, dark yellow urine and it has a foul smell to it, you know that your kidney is not getting enough of water. You know that you are dehydrating. The color of your urine should be pale white, crystal white, or a very, very light pale yellow. Now note that some people on medication or like on vitamin C's and B complexes, the urine will automatically change to yellow. So keep that in mind. But when we have the right amount of water going into our system, we are automatically flushing our kidneys. Now, number two, fruits. One of the easiest way to detoxify your kidney is eating fruits. You see, fruits have the right amount of potassium. And the kidneys need the right amount of potassium to detoxify. Fruits have the, uh, the right amount of electrolytes. And your kidneys need the right amount of electrolytes to break down urea, to break down uh, creatinine in your body. But also be careful that if you already are a patient of kidney disease, too much of potassium could be detrimental to your health. So it's extremely important to check with your doctor if you need to increase the amount of fruits in your diet, especially if you have a kidney problem. But if you do not have a kidney problem, eating fruits like oranges, lemons, and now it's the season of Indian gooseberry, amla, make sure that you load up on that. Papayas, bananas, all of your local seasonal fruits will help you detoxify your kidney. It's extremely, extremely important, which is why people who go through these ketogenic diets in a way which is not mindful, you know, usually end up having other problems because 
we need to understand that it's not about just weight loss. It's about looking after the organs of your body, the organ health of your body. So you may lose weight on some of these fad diets, but you will also have other problems because everything has to be balanced in the human body. You cannot neglect the health of your liver, your kidney, and other organs. So make sure that you're loading up on fruits. Two to three fruits in a day, especially on an empty stomach, is the best way to consume fruits or about 30 to 45 minutes before meals. We never eat fru fruits with our meal or after our meal. If you can eat fruits in an empty stomach, it will help you detoxify your kidney. Now, grapes are especially important for your kidney. So usually people who have kidney diseases are given grape seed extract, or you can have the, the whole fruit grapes because that has the ability to detoxify your kidney and help the filter work far better. Caffeine. Alcohol, coffee, too much of tea, and too much of chocolate will put load on your kidney. So at a time where, when you're going through a lot of pollution, you want to decrease the load on your kidney. So make sure that you have very, very small quantities of caffeine, chocolate, and alcohol. That will just help you keep the burden off your kidneys. Sometimes we don't have to add food to the human body to detoxify. Sometimes all we need to do is take a break from certain foods, and the organs will automatically detoxify. Cranberry is extremely important, and I know we don't get cranberry in our country. So using a cranberry extract can be extremely beneficial for the kidney detoxification. So cranberry contains something called quinine, which breaks down into hippuric acid in the liver. And this acid has the ability to break down uric acid, to break down toxins in the kidney and flush it out. Now, I'm not usually one to recommend supplements, but... Uh, in, a, in an instance where we have excess pollution in the air and we don't grow cranberries in our own country, you can use a very, very pure cranberry extract, which works beautifully to clean the kidney. And that's why patients of UTI, urinary tract infection, are usually put on a cranberry extract, which gives them relief within two to three hours because of the ability of the elements of cranberry to break down and clean the kidney rapidly. Something which is easily available <clears throat> wherever we stay is Bali. You can get barley pearls at your grocery or at the chemist. Now you take about three tablespoons of barley and you soak it overnight in water and you drink the water in the morning. That has the ability to flush out toxins, break down uric acid and break down high levels of cre creatinine in your kidney almost immediately. This is literally inexpensive and you can get a lot of barley for a little money spent. Now you can also make a barley tea and I advise people to do this who have you know, who need to detoxify their kidneys or when they have water retention. When you have water retention, if you're not on medication, that's a, that's a sign that your kidneys are not working the right way. So you can take two tablespoons of barley and boil it in four cups of water, reduce it to half, ha add a little bit of lemon, and drink this barley water to flush out toxins from your kidney. Now note that if you're traveling on the road, this will also make you want to urinate, so plan your barley water intake at a time where you have a toilet accessible. Again, Patients with kidney disease will have to check with their doctors if they can use barley water, you know, depending on the kind of medication that, that they are on. Now, reducing your protein intake at this time. So people who are living in places where there's a lot of pollution, if you're going through something right now like a crisis situation, it is important that you reduce your amount of protein, especially if you're taking protein shakes, and I'll explain to you why. Have your protein from wholesome foods like your, your, you know, your whole grains, your beans, your nuts, your seeds, your green leafy vegetables, all of that stuff. But if you're loading up on protein shakes, now may not be the best time because your kidney, you want your kidney to use all that energy and function to break down and filter toxins out of your body. When we take protein from shakes, which are not utilized the right way, which what I mean by that is if we're not training intensely enough to justify the amount of protein that we're taking, it uses a lot of energy and has a lot of metabolic waste as a byproduct of breaking down protein. And your kidney doesn't flush this out, which is why people have high uric acid or high creatinine, uh, crea uh, creatinine levels. When we have high creatinine levels, it means our kidney is not functioning the right way. So very quickly to recap, simple things that you can do to detoxify your kidney today, and I will be posting a complete kidney detoxification program right after this call. The simple way is barley. Load up on barley right now, at least two to three tablespoons in a day, soaked in water overnight, consume the water in the morning, or make a tea out of it. Boil two to three tablespoons of barley in water, reduce it to half, add a little bit of lemon, and drink that through the day. Reduce your alcohol at a time like this, your caffeine, in your coffees, in your teas, and your chocolate as well, because this is extremely, extremely stressful for your kidney to break down. 
increase your water intake. We don't want to overdo it on water. If you're eating three to four fruits in a day, you're already getting a lot of water from the fruits that you eat, but you still need to eat, drink at least 10 to 12 to 14 glasses of water right now, pure water. If your water is stored in a clay pot or a mud pot, also known as a matka, that's even better for you because that keeps the water naturally cool and naturally alkaline. And fruits, load up on fruits. Three to four fruits in a day will keep your kidney functioning the right way. And remember, the more raw food you have and the less cooked food you have, that's gonna be beneficial for all the organs in your body. Cooked food provides very little nutrition and produce, makes your digestive system use a lot of energy to break it down. The same energy can be used right now to detoxify your lungs, your liver, your kidney, and your colon. So aim for more raw and less cooked. And that's very easy to do if you're having three to four fruits in a day, some portion of raw vegetables, your nuts, your seeds, your lemon water, all of these things are raw foods and will help you detoxify the body automatically. So look out for my detoxification plan, which I'm going to post on Facebook right now after this video. Try to do this right now because it's not just your lungs. It's also your liver and your kidney and your colon. All these organs have to work really well, and that will keep your immunity strong through this pollution that you're currently going through. Good luck, everyone, and stay safe. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right and breathe deep.